There's a new campaign that lets us know all of these things from the University of Minnesota in Duluth. And they've got a new ad campaign that talks about how unfair it is to be white. What do you mean we're lucky to be white? It's not luck. It's privilege. We're privileged that people see us, not a color. Privilege that we don't get stared at when we walk into the room. Privi- mm. If we stop it there for a second, privilege that we don't get stared at when we walk into a room. How many, let's say blacks, get stared at when they walk into a room? Oh, look at that. It's a black person. I see black people. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I haven't uh, noticed that. that. Uh, I don't Uh, uh, stare at black people when they walk into a room. (laughs) No, I I don't either. Does the room shut down every time an African-American walks into it? Or a Hispanic or a Native American? (gasps) It's an Indian. I think that person might have high cheekbones. (laughs) Is that a Cherokee? Oh. That happened. Now, to be oh. fair, that does happen to Elizabeth Warren. It does. People can course, tell right away yeah, how she Indian looks. She I is. mean, her cheekbones are so incredibly so high, high. You know, she's full blooded Cherokee the second she walks in. Right. That's... And you think, I thought they were extinct. <laughs> but no, that's a full blooded Cherokee right there. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but wait, so, that is ridiculous, uh, though. I mean, what a dumb. What the, a dumb statement. The charge is that if you're Hispanic or African American, you walk into a room. And all You're the white people at. stop and go, oh, oh, oh. Yep. what is that? Well, look at that person. I think they've got darker skin than I do. Oh. And then they sit down and you're like, okay, now back to dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is that really the charge? Does that ever yes. happen? I mean, maybe it happened in the 19, I don't even, did it even happen in the I 1950s? Don't think it, I, don't I don't think, think it did. Stopped I don't think it stared. did. stared. No. They were very rude and mean yeah. and, and awful at times. Let's go but, through this again. What do you mean we're lucky to be white? All right. It's not luck. It's mm-hmm. privilege. We're privileged that people see us, not a color. Privilege that we don't get stared at when we walk into the room. Privilege that we don't get followed by security when we go shopping. Oh, or- stop. Mm-hmm. Yeah, have you seen that? I see that all the time. Every time there's a black person, there's there's a security agent right behind him. Now, I that's saw not that the to other say day that there's not uh, jackass security guys that might do that. But right, that is not... That is typical. Not- is it typical? Is it... Because no. it, you're, you're making a charge against police and security people. I yeah. mean, you're saying... Look at the things... Well, look at what you're saying here. I mean, that's just a terrible thing to accuse people of. You know, I mean, if you're acting in a suspicious manner, you should be followed. However, if just because you're skin color, obviously you shouldn't be co- followed. And I would say the vast majority of, of, uh, of you know, people who work for security firms are not saying, well, I, I'd like to go to work today. I'm just going to be looking for some African-Americans to follow. Let's let the white people take all the Gucci purses they want. But I'm going to be right. I'm going to be right hovering over those African-Americans. I just I, you know, come on. They're trained to look for high cheekbones, too. They're trained. They're physically yes. trained. They know what to look for. 